If you're somebody who's looking into moving in from your home country to mm. reduce taxes or to find a better lifestyle mm. and you're looking into Central America, then this video might be interesting to you because we're gonna be talking about Belize and the tax system in Belize. Hi everyone, my name is Yelena. Uh, and for the past five years, I've been helping seven and eight figure entrepreneurs go where they treated best and legally reduce their taxes. If you find this video interesting, uh, subscribe and uh, like this video. And uh, every other day we post another video about a different topic. Now, when it comes to Belize, there are a couple of interesting things to uh, discuss here. And the first of all, uh, what I'm gonna mention is the tax system. So Belize tax system is simply territorial tax system. Now what that means is that generally only Belize sourced income is gonna be taxed in Belize, while foreign sourced income in most cases will not. When we're talking about Belize personal income tax, the tax can be a flat 25% tax rate uh, on any income above $26,000. If you earn less than that, then you're gonna be exempt from personal income taxes. On the other hand, there's no inheritance tax in Belize, there's no gift tax, and there's no wealth tax. On the corporate side, generally, uh, companies that do not operate in Belize, like if you establish a Belize IBC that does not operate in Belize, generally that company will be tax-free from taxes in Belize. So only companies that are operating on the ground and have Belize sourced income will be taxed in Belize. So overall, as you can see, it can be a very favorable tax system, especially if you're a business person or entrepreneur who has offshore businesses all over the world, employees all over the world, a business that's location independent. This can be a very favorable place for you, uh, not just because of the lifestyle, but also because of the taxes that you can uh, basically structure your, uh, your company, your assets, your income in a way that you pay minimum taxes or no taxes in some cases, depending on the situation. So if you want to start a company in Belize, like a Belize IBC, as I mentioned, as long as it doesn't operate in Belize, you will pay no tax, you don't have uh, tax audits, you don't have to file tax returns, and you don't have to keep record of your financial activities. However, you do need to file an annual statement that will state that your uh, company is a pure equity holding company. Now, as you can see, the tax system can be very favorable, but it does require you to be a tax resident. How do you do that? First, you need a residence permit in Belize, and that can be achieved through two ways, basically. The one is a very popular one for retirees who are 45 years or older, QRP. And the second option is the investor visa, which requires you to invest $250,000 uh, dollars uh, in Belize. That investment can be either in real estate in Belize or in a business existing or a new business. Now, after you get that residence permit, you get the right to reside in Belize uh, during the entire year. But in order to be deemed a tax resident, you would generally need to spend 183 days in Belize uh, or otherwise be deemed a domiciled in Belize which is a whole different story and domicile is a very difficult thing to prove sometimes. So in most cases, you would need to spend 183 days in Belize in order to be a tax resident. Now, if you are keen on becoming a resident and subsequently a tax resident of Belize, this can be a very good option for those who are looking into moving out of their home country, those who are looking for a new and better lifestyle, maybe for those people who are from the US or Canada who wanna move out of their home countries but wanna still be close, geographically close to their home countries. Belize is a very attractive destination for retirees, foreigners, digital nomads, and it has a good healthcare system as well. Although it is not as advanced as some other countries in the area, it is still very affordable. What is also interesting is that in uh, Belize, you you will find an English speaking communities as well. They do speak English. And uh, depending on the area where you decide to live, the cost of living can be cheaper or more expensive. Now, this is also one of the, the cons of, of Belize is that while it is more affordable than living in the United States, Belize is still more expensive than some Central American countries. So you could find uh, cheaper countries to live in. However, uh, Belize does offer a kind of a unique lifestyle. It's positioned very interestingly geographically wise, and it is very close to, let's say, Mexico, US and Canada, which all have worldwide tax systems and aggressive tax regimes. When it comes to expenses, uh, food and uh, rent uh, can be somewhat acceptable. However, utilities are uh, very, very expensive in Belize. Now, compared to the United States, internet access, mobile access, gas, electricity, uh, all is more expensive in Belize than it is in the United States. So there you also have a price to pay in order to basically enjoy the lifestyle that you want. However, if you're coming from I don't know, Canada or Australia or any other country that's not US, uh, you will be able to significantly reduce your taxes in Belize. So that might kind of um, 
level up with, uh, with the high, higher lifestyle costs uh, because you will probably save much more on taxes than you will pay on utilities. Now, as mentioned, it's a territorial tax system, but it is very questionable as it is always in these countries, what is deemed uh, the least sourced income. So for example, if you have a offshore company and you're the only one working for that company, working on the ground, never leaving Belize during a year, technically they can claim it's Belize sourced income uh, because you're physically there doing the, the work. However, um, that can be navigated uh, through and uh, if you need help with that, uh, there's definitely something that we can assist you with. However, when you're looking at offshore companies, Belize generally does not have controlled foreign corporation rules or CFC rules, but it does have permanent establishment rules. So you will need to be careful about those when you structure your business overseas and when you structure yourself in Belize, you will have to be careful about permanent establishment rules in order not to trigger Belize taxation. Now, this is one of the many options out there, and there may be some better options for you depending on your situation. But in Central America, this is one interesting option that can provide you with tax benefits, a good lifestyle, and an easy second residence to get. If you're interested in obtaining Belize residence or other types of residencies and legally reduce your taxes, go to our webpage and apply to be our client. Or if you're still exploring options, subscribe to our channel and uh, hear the newest updates uh, here with us.